Hey, Eric. Long time no see you. What is up to you? Everything's fine so far. What about you? May I come in? Oh, sure. You may. Please come in. How are you feeling? I see you have been losing weight. Oh, no. I'm not feeling well. You know, past times were far better, and I miss those days when I was young, and everything was different, and on my side, healthier. Nowadays, there is a lot of population and noise. I don't know, and I would like to go back to my past days on the farm. Oh, that's a shame to listen to you. I partially agree with you. I also miss the good old days, but not all the good times are past. Bear in mind the technological gadgets we have today, and they make our lives easy. We can have almost anything in the palm of our hand. I'm aware of it. However, look at these pictures of my parents. They seem happier. They were busy as a bee, but they felt so comfortable and valued the things they had. Nowadays, everything is easy as pie. They can do almost everything with their eyes shut, but clicking buttons. And I disagree. Huh. I see. When were your parents born? They both were born in 1929? Why? You know, they belong to the silent generation. They worked hard because they passed through harsh economic situations due to World War II and struggled to provide food and shelter for their families. New inventions marked their adulthood, the radio and the penicillin discovery. Aside from this, I don't think that was their best moment. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. That was a terrible time. My father used to tell me about the economic difficulties they passed through. However, I had never heard about protests or similar. Neither do I. Your parents and mine work day and night at their workplaces, got their money's worth, the enlarged lifespan of products, and did not waste time. They married too young. You know, they yielded baby boomers. What? Baby boomers? What do you mean? Look at this picture of my wife. We both were born in 1961 as you did. Oh, that's incredible. How could you describe your wife? She's fantastic, independent, and confident. Now she's retired, but she was a leader at her workplace because she was engaged with the company's progress. Although we were far from technology at that moment, we enjoyed it a lot now because our sons teach us new things about cell phones, gadgets, and the internet every day. Oh, and your sons, how old are they? They are 35 and 37. Similar to mine. My son is 34. So according to your generational analysis, do they belong to the generation, eh? I don't know. Could you please give me a hand? Yes, <laughs> sure. Our sons belong to a generation named Generation X. They are very active, positive, and balanced. They enjoy a lot of free time and cultural activities. They love their jobs and they do community work. My son is creating a social platform to include all the food prices aimed at people in the neighborhood. The food can be updated to those prices. Can you picture that? Look at this photo. Oh, that's astonishing. And you are familiar with the use of technology. For me, using a cell phone is just the tip of the iceberg. All these gadgets are almost new to me, and I don't know how to use them properly. No problem. If you want, I can teach you. Remember, my baby boomer, we need to move forward. Oh, that would be incredible. Moreover, what about your grandsons? I have one. Look at him. He is 15 years old. He's not nearly like you and me or even his parents. Why do you say that? Because he's a multitasker, loves technology and seeks equality at all costs. He belongs to Generation Z. This generation transforms our family members into digital humans. If you have questions, he can Google them. That is sometimes a real pain in the neck. But 
you know, it's the new generation. What about your nephew? He's 29. My ex-wife says he's a millennial. Oh, she hit the nail on the head. They are highly intellectual, love technology, also emotional and curious. Do you have any pictures of him? Mm, yes, I think. Let me get it for you. There is one on my night table. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> It's okay. I will wait for it. Take your time. Here you have. This is him. The woman beside him is his girlfriend. They love each other. Charles, this has been a lovely afternoon, but I need to go. I need to take a taxi. See you next time and remember to move forward and update yourself. We are living now in a different time. Now I'm going outside to search for my taxi. Bye, my friend. Oh, sure. But let me call the cop for you. I have a new application on my cell phone. Ha ha ha.